Hello friends, Tony here. In this video, I'm going to take a look to new Breeze from uh, Laravel with the live wire. Here we have Laravel Breeze also offers live wire scaffolded and live wire is a powerful way of building dynamic reactive front-end UI using just PHP. Now I'm going to create a Laravel project. So let's say here Laravel new. Hit enter and I'm going to name it uh, Breeze. Okay, now let's select the Laravel Breeze starter kit and here we have which Breeze stack would you like to install. We have Blade, Livewire with Alpine, new one, React with Inertia, View with Inertia and API only. So I'm going to select Livewire with Alpine. Let's, let's say yes and paste here. No kit repository and we are okay. Now, which uh, database will your application use? I'm going to select MySQL. Okay, the first one here is to open the .env file and add here the database name. I have created a database with a Laravel as a name, so let's use that. And let's open the terminal and run the artisan migrate. I'm going to say artisan migrate first because I have a alias short one. So let's say that and let's close down. Okay, let's open the project in here. So I'm going to say Breeze test and here is the project. Now if I click the register, take a look to the loading icon, register, so it's not loading. Also if I go to the already registered, which means the login page, also here is not loading. So we have kind of a single page application. Now let's open the project and let's see inside the routes web.php here we have all the routes for our project and here we have the route view for the welcome page then we have for the route view for the dashboard route view for the profile and then we require the auth php which is in here and here we have this route middleware guest for guests and route middleware auth. Now in both of them we have a vault route as you can see. Vault route register and using the component which is inside the pages auth register. Okay, let's go inside the resources, views, live wire and then we have pages out and register blade. Now this component is used in this route register. Also login for this route login and so on. So we have a vault package used for the live wire breeze authentication. Now let's open the login page. We're talking the login page. And here is the PHP and here is the HTML. Okay, this is a vault file, blade file. Now here we have new class which extends the Livewire vault component. As you can see, then we have rules, required string and email for the email, and required and string for the password, boolean for the remember. Okay, so we have a boolean here, remember me. And then we have the methods, the login method, ensure is not rate limited. And we have this throttle key and that's it. Now let's go to the login method. Here we call first the, this validate. So it's going to validate the fields. Then it's going to call this ensure is not rate limited. So it's going to call the new method we have down there. And here first we check for the too many attempts and by default is five. And this is where I kindly like the vault because we can change, for example, the, how many attempts we want just in the login blade. So we don't need to go to other files. Then we call this event and get the seconds. And here we have throw validation exception with messages, email, and we have here the trans method and this uh, trans function translates the given translation key using the language files. 
And if I open, we don't have here by default the language files. So yeah, we don't have here. Now, if we want, let's open the terminal and let's run the PHP artisan. I have alias just art and call the lang colon publish. And here we have language files published successfully. Let's close the terminal and we can see we have a lang directory with the en directory for the English. And as you can see, we have auth.throttles. Now, if I open the auth file, we have the throttle key with uh, too many attempts, uh, too many login attempts. Please try again in colon seconds, seconds. Now this colon seconds is mean the how many seconds we have, which is we can override that. So let's go here and yeah, we have image trans out dot throttled and then in the array, we specify seconds, which means this colon seconds with uh, how many seconds we have. Okay, now, as I said to you, with uh, bold, we can change the how many attempts we want and also the seconds. So let's say, for example, uh, three maximum attempts and I'm going to change the seconds we can go here to rate limiter, hit, and as you can see, accept the key and also the display seconds. So let's add comma and for example, 30 seconds, because by default is uh, one minute. Good. Now let's see, let's come here and let's go first to the register page. And I'm going to use the fake filter here. Just copy the email and let's register. I'm going to log, log out and let's go and log in and refresh, paste that in and I'm going to add not the correct password, just to have this error. One, two, three. Now if I click again, we have, please try again in 20 sec 24 seconds because we changed that here. Now if I leave to default one, which is one minute and also here five maximum attempts and let's come here and refresh paste that in and let's try one two three four five now if i click again we have the message and please try again in 53 seconds Okay, so that's it all about this video for the Laravel Breeze with the Livewire and Alpine JS, which use a Vault package. So the Vault, pack, Vault is a Livewire package, and we use that to create uh, authentication in Laravel. So a single page for PHP and HTML. What do you think? You like that or? you prefer the old way with html in the blade and php logic in the class leave the comment in youtube and i see you in the next one all the best friends don't forget to subscribe to my channel share with your friends and see you in the next one